There are a lot of characters in the Harry Potter series outside of the main characters. Most of these characters are around the same age as Harry himself. But have you ever noticed how the ages of some of the older characters don't always seem to make much sense? Today we're going to take a look at some of those. The first characters we're going to take a look at are Lily and James Potter. Now they were born in 1960, while Harry, their son, was born in 1980, which means they were 20 when Harry was born. Now that in itself is not too strange. There are lots of people who have children way before they're 20, but most of those people are not at war. And if they are at war, they're not in the Order of the Phoenix, like actively trying to kill Voldemort. Both my grandparents were born during the Second World War, but neither of my great-grandparents were trying to kill Hitler. It just seems kind of irresponsible to have a child. So a logical next question will be, was Harry an accident? I guess the same could be said about Lupin and Tonks, but yeah, Teddy's definitely an accident as well. So anyway, Lily and James Potter are 20 when Harry is born, but we don't know exactly how old Aunt Petunia and Uncle Vernon are, but I think it's safe to say Petunia is about two or three years older than Lily. If we look at the chapter in Deathly Hallows where Snape explains, you know, the wizarding world to Lily, Petunia acts somewhat childish, which leads me to believe she's around 13 or 14 years old at that time. Also, she writes a letter to Dumbledore asking if she can also go to Hogwarts and I don't think she will do that if she has already almost graduated her muggle school. So I think it's safe to say that Uncle Vernon and Aunt Petunia are around 22 or 23 years old when we first meet them in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Now that kind of blew my mind when I first thought about that. I'm already almost the age that Aunt Petunia is when we first meet her. That's actually kind of scary. Also, I'm not, not a director of a drill factory yet, so I, I, I guess Uncle Vernon is just way more successful than I am. Speaking of that, it, it doesn't really make sense either. Who is 22 years old and is the director of a successful company? Something else, while I was researching for this video, I came upon the Pottermore page for Aunt March. And on her Pottermore page, there is a list of her hobbies. And guess what's on top of the list? Bullying Harry Potter? That, that seems kind of sad, actually. In fact, I thought it was so sad that I had to include it here. The next characters I'm going to talk about are Arthur and Molly Weasley. Now, this doesn't exactly make no sense, but it's still rather interesting. According to Pottermore, they're both born in 1950. They were in the same year at Hogwarts. Now, guess who entered Hogwarts just one year later? Bellatrix Lestrange. Meaning they were together at Hogwarts for like six years. Given that Bellatrix Lestrange was of the House of Black, which is, you know, the wealthiest and generally most well-known wizarding family, they probably knew each other, like, pretty well. Why is there no fanfiction of that? And lastly, there is just one character I need to talk about, because there's a lot of things that don't really fit about him. Rubius Hagrid. Let's start with Chamber of Secrets. We go back in time 50 years to a time where Hagrid was 13 years old, which makes him 63 years old in Chamber of Secrets and, you know, in his 60s in the entire Harry Potter series. Now, I may be spoiled by the films a little, but I always thought of Hagrid as being in his 40s. In the books, he's described as having a big black beard and black hair, but I don't really know many people in their 60s who have black hair. Most people have like light grey or white hair or, you know, no hair. Also, him being in his 60s, being born in 1928, makes him about 10 years older than McGonagall? I'm sorry, I'm just having a little trouble processing all that. And then the last thing that doesn't really make sense. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, when Ron's family comes at Hogwarts for the third task of the Triwizard Tournament, she talks about her years at Hogwarts. Now, she's born in 1950, which means that takes place in the 1960s. 
Now she talks about the gamekeeper who was there and she remembers him being called Ock. But if Hagrid was expelled from Hogwarts at 1942, doesn't that mean he should be the gamekeeper in the 1960s? Hagrid himself said that after he got expelled, Dumbledore convinced the current headmaster to hire Hagrid as gamekeeper. So who was this Ock? Was Hagrid like his assistant? I, I, I just don't know. So anyway, that was it. If there are any other character ages you think don't make sense, feel free to comment them in the comment section below. Or maybe there's, there's other things about Harry Potter that don't make sense. Because there are a lot of things that don't make sense. In fact, I could probably make a video on that that will be like the length of the entire film series. But anyway, I will see you next time. Bye.